quick cuts from Knife Chats. Like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Thank you. Today's quick cut, I'm going to call the devils in the details. And this is uh, what makes one knife better than another, at least in my opinion. Now, I'm not trying to knife shame or anything here. Uh, I'm just looking at three budget brands and uh, giving my opinion on three specific knives. What I like about them and what I don't like about them. And in this case, it's three different doctor's knives by three different companies. Rough Rider, Schrade, and Steel Warrior. Now, Steel Warrior is a Jim Frost brand. Uh, let's get started. So right up front is Rough Rider, the Smoky Mountain Knife Works house brand, and also probably my favorite of the budget brands of knives. I really like Rough Riders. I also really like tortoise shell. So uh, this knife has everything going for it as far as I'm concerned, at least initially. You got uh, stainless steel back springs, uh, uh, brass liners, nickel silver bolsters, a nice little uh, pill crusher in down here, you know, nice and perfect for crushing pills. You've got that long spear master blade, which I really like. And then, alas, it has a pen blade instead of a spatula. If this knife would have had a spatula, it would have been just perfect as far as I was concerned. It's got the match striker pulls and everything. It's, it's just almost there. I know there's plenty of um, doctor's knives that have a uh, a secondary pin blade instead of a spatula. I like the spatula. That's what I'm looking for. That, To me, that's what makes a doctor's knife a doctor's knife. Um, that in the uh, long spear blade. Most of the Rough Rider doctor's knives these days have a, uh, a clip blade. I don't want a clip blade. I want a, a spear blade and a spatula. So that's the problem with the Rough Rider. Now next up is the little shred. This is the first doctor's knife uh, that I've ever picked up and I really liked it. It was just uh, really cool. Um, notice though here the Rough Rider is right at three and three quarters of an inch. This one is right at three and a quarter inches long. So it's a half inch shorter than your typical doctor's knife. Um, but it does have the nice spear blade with a half stop Still got the match striker pulls. Um, not sure of what kind of uh, blade is used in it. I believe it is a 420. Schrade just listed it as surgical steel. You have uh, uh, brass liners, stainless steel back springs, and really gorgeous uh, desert iron wood handles. And uh, nice transitions to the bolsters and everything. Nice pill crusher in down here. So it's really a great knife. And you notice the thing I like about it, the spatula. This uh, really made me say, hey, this is really a cool knife. And uh, this one, uh, simply because it has that spatula and the desert ironwood, I like it more than the Rough Rider, even though I suspect that the blade still is not as good as the Rough Rider. Now, I've recently been on a cracked ice kick, so I saw this one by uh, Steel Warrior and was able to snag it for 12 bucks and said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. That was $12 shipped. And uh, the cracked ice really looks nice in it. And you got, once again, the uh, brass liner stainless steel back springs, 440A stainless steel, um, nickel silver bolsters. And you can definitely feel the transition between the bolsters and the... Uh, the handles, but really not too big of a problem. We're talking a $12 knife. Um, and it's got the things I was looking for. It's got a nice uh, spear master blade. Yeah, there's no half stop, not a big deal. You also have a spatula over here, which is really cool. But then as you turn around to the end here, I don't know what they were thinking with the pill crusher end. Notice pill crusher end. You're supposed to be able to crush pills with it. But this is open, which means if you're actually crushing something, all that powder could fall down inside there. That's not a good idea. So that was a problem. And then um, we got this. There's no nail nick on that spatula. I 
I could do this for another two or three minutes and still not get it open. Uh, basically, the only way I can get it open is to slide something underneath it, pry it up a bit, and then peel it out. That's not the way a spatula is supposed to work. I should be able to get a nail nick on there and get it out. But I can't get a nail nick on there to save my life. I'm going to have to pry it open. You know, I've got to do surgery to get the damn spatula out of the knife. So this is an epic fail. Um, looks so great, but once again, the Steel Warrior has found a way to disappoint me in what could have been a really cool knife. So at the end of the day, I'm left with this one. This is the doctor's knife that I really like the most. It's got the right blades. It's got nice looking handles. It's a little short. Three and, a, three and a quarter as opposed to three and three quarter. But, uh, you know, you do have the pill crusher in and a usable spatula. So, big score on that part. Uh, I would normally be saying stick around for a slideshow, but I took too, too long trying to open up the spatula for a slideshow. So, I'm going to have to skip it this time. And that's another wrap for a quick cut. Thanks a lot for dropping by.